Twitter can be a wonderful place for knowledge. Great minds have taken the time to distill their understanding down into bite-sized chunks for you. But the challenge is, how do you get this transitory information from your feed into your brain? Welcome, I'm Jeffrey, and in this video, I'm gonna take you through how I use Readwise to capture the interesting bits that I find on Twitter, how I export them to Rome Research, where I process them into my personal knowledge management system. Let's take a closer look. So in a previous video, I covered how I digest information with Rome using progressive summarization, and I had the system set up beautifully to work for fixed length content. So books, once they're written, people aren't adding more chapters to the book usually, or videos, once they're done, they're done. But with Twitter, it's basically a book or article that's being continuously written. So if I marked something as complete and I went to go add it, add more content to that, then it wouldn't show up here. So I needed to figure out a way to handle tweets, which are basically just continu continuous input content within my system. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is to set up Readwise so that it connects to Twitter and that it exports correctly to Rome so that we can process it later. To connect to Twitter, you go to your import settings and just set up your Twitter account to link them. And then for exporting to Rome, you go to your export settings and then hit configure here. Now I've included the text for this configuration down in the description below, but basically what I'm trying to do is if it has the category for tweets, I'm going to add this tweets tag. Otherwise, I'm going to do my normal uh, setup. And down in the highlights header, if it's a tweet, then I want to tag it with the new tweets tag, which you'll see why uh, when I go into Rome. I also wanted to let everyone know that my website, jeffreyweber.com, has now launched. You can go there to check out my blog as well as sign up for my newsletter that I'm calling The Weekly Pearl, where I'll be writing about what I've been pondering, enjoying, actioning, what's been resonating with me, and what I've been learning over the last week. I've included links to everything down in the description below, so if that sounds interesting to you, I encourage you to go check it out. So now that we have Twitter connected to our Readwise account, whenever we find an interesting tweet, we can just share it and direct message it to at Readwise.io, and then it'll automatically go over to our Readwise account and then be exported into Rome. So this is what my progressive summarization page used to look like when I didn't account for tweets, but now let's build the new system. So if I go to my page, I want to add a spot to process new tweets. So tweets to process. And then I'm gonna set up a query to pull in just the new tweets that happen. And I also want a way to filter the ones that I have digested. So I'm gonna do a query for a and not. And then I want it to have anything with the new tweets. And then I also want to remove anything that I mark as digested. And then if I do that, then you can see all of my tweets that are new. So this looks a little bit messy. I like to change. So remove group by page and remove show path. So it's just a nicer line. And now I have a lot of tweets here because I just updated to this new system. So hopefully when I come in here to process, there won't be this many waiting. But if I wanted to process one, I could come here, expand, see what the tweet is about. If it's something that I wanna create a literature note about, then I can just go ahead and do so. And then once I'm done with the literature note, I can just go ahead and mark this as digested. And then that way it's removed from my list. And then let's say if there's a tweet that after looking at it a little bit more, I don't want to write a literature note, I can just go ahead and just mark it as digested without doing anything else and then that will remove it from the list. And that way I have a place in my Rome graph that is pulling in all of the new tweets that I found interesting, giving me the opportunity to review them a second time to either create a literature note about it 
or to just mark it as digested if there's nothing else new or interesting that I want to do with it. And the reason why I'm not doing successive le levels of progressive summarization is because tweets are already knowledge that is distilled down. I don't think that it would benefit much from highlighting and bolding through multiple passes. I think the one pass of reviewing it on Twitter plus another pass in my Rome graph is sufficient to get the, the most value out of that bit of wisdom. So that's my first attempt at creating a system to turn tweets into knowledge using Rome research. Let me know if you found this interesting or if you have any ideas for how I can improve it. I would love to hear about it and I will see you all next time.